take the second one guys we'll start with an easy one this is not a very tough one. okay one thing is there's a fault with these questions over here though it's written you must say on the exam day it's written you should say okay it's never you must say it is always you should say so what difference does it make and wh why, why am i talking about it that it's not written you sh you must it's written uh, you should why am i talking about it i'm talking about it because should means you're not obligated must means you're obligated it shows obligation right so on the exam when they give you cue cards try to understand the purpose of giving the cue cards the cue card is given to you because the examiners feel that to speak for one to two minutes is actually a long time to speak for okay to speak for one to two minutes is a long time that thus they give you some hints in terms of the three bullet points but it's not mandatory for all the candidates to cover all those three bullet points if you can include your own if you have more stuff to talk about if you can if you think that you can answer the question question without referring to the three bullet points even that is fine okay so it's not necessary for us to cover all those bullet points remember this you can add information you can leave few bullet points you can cover one bullet point you can cover two bullet points that is see you will not find this in any of the books okay they don't write this thing because i think many of them don't even know this thing so know this that if you want to the the entire thing is describe this that's what the writing the first line right describe something a situation will be given to you then they will say you should say so when they say you should say and three bullet points are there these are just to help you if you can describe the situation without referring to these bullet points or taking help of just one or two bullet points that's absolutely fine you are never negatively marked you are not obliged to answer all those bullet points but explain question is mandatory you cannot skip the explain question also remember that if you are taking the help as is advisable that if you are finding yourself in lack of ideas you can you should definitely follow the bullet points that will definitely help you so jot down points on the bullet points that are given to us while you are answering if you are referring to the bullet points given in the question you are using those to generate ideas make sure that you are answering all the bullet points in sequence why answering in sequence will ensure that you are not the marks is not deducted in under coherence getting it your answer will have a structure so if you are taking the help of the bullet points make sure that you are answering them in sequence now i'll give though in the exam they give one minute i'll give you two minutes to prepare on this for the first question right question two i've highlighted over here your time starts now all of you should prepare on this
Okay, two minutes is up. Kolkana, you can start. I would like to talk about a place where I frequently go when I'm stressed out. When I'm having very tiring day or I'm really, very confused about something, I need some mental peace or I need to go somewhere else to just clear up my mind. There's that one place that hits my mind. It is, an, it is a village in the Bolpur. Its name is Shanti Niketan, where Rabindranath Tagore used to stay. Indians are very much uh, familiar with this uh, word and the place. It's very famous for its art and culture. Most amazing artisans and craftsmen are found there. So this place is really, very really special for me. Whenever I go to visit this place, the first thing that takes my breath away is this amazing landscape. To, in addition to that, the villagers in the, in, over there are so welcoming and humble. They will not make you feel as an outsider. You can just sit with them, talk ev about anything and they are so helpful. I have a cousin who stays there and she is not only my cousin, she is like my best friend. I don't hesitate to share anything with her. She knows from my deepest and darkest secrets to everything. So whenever I am in a state of confusion or I want to clear my mind, I go to her to talk about the problems. The most amazing thing about this place is I can I learn to I learn many things. I learn to do pottery. Pottery is a very important uh, art over there. I learned to cook food. Actually, my cousin is a very So that is already cook. two minutes, Konkara. Okay. Okay. Well, good to see that you are able to speak for this time. And your rate of speech is constant. Everything is good. I think there is no flaw in your speech. It's absolutely a good answer. Okay. Well spoken. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Muskan. To begin with, the first place that comes to my mind when I need to relax is a park nearby my home. Even though it's not far away, it still holds a very special place in my heart. Its name is Nehru, so ideologies related to Nehru also comes to my mind when I go there. And secondly, the place is so vibrant that my all thoughts, the worries that I have in my mind, it just flows away. There are so many stories, so many people out there that I can observe. And it is such a beautiful environment to be in. It's just a place to be in touch with the nature. But at the same time, it's also a place where I can strike conversation with any type of stranger and have any worldly conversation I have. Or sometimes when I need alone time, there's this small corner in the park that I go, can go and no one would disturb me there. That is also one of my favorite places in the park. I generally go there, sit, and just observe or listen to the uh, sounds of birds, or just open my book, novel, and read it. It's such a homely place for me that I can never forget it ever in my life. Okay, one minute, 18 seconds. Well, the flow, everything is good, Musna. You can just extend your answers a bit. I think that will come only through practice. But everything else is yeah. good. Very well answered. Okay, good. Priyanka? I would like to talk about a park near my home. That play, the park is full of greenery, which helps me soothe in a lot. But the, the thing which adds a real beauty to it are the beautiful and colorful flowers as well. This uh, this attract a lot of but this attract butterflies and birds. Uh, I see small children playing and living their best lives. 
all people can be seen walking and even laughing in their laughter clubs i just get into deep uh, i just get into my deep thoughts observing the two contrasting ages there is also a fountain which they run in the evening which which is a beautiful scene to, uh, to observe the sunset brightens the place with its golden color i feel really rejuvenated and calm there hence i use it as my escape from the fast pacing life yes sir good you have well spoken there you have well tried like it like they try to be calm this time that is good you have spoken for one or two seconds the time is not a factor the thing is that i can see that you are trying to go on the uh, nervousness and all those things that is good okay well answered good akshita hello yes sir as uh, as from my uh, as sorry as from my childhood i love to visit my uh, i love to visit my un uh, my uncle he has a very big garden sorry uh, there was a uh, there was a very uh, he has a, a very big garden it was actually a farmhouse so he always invited me and my family on the weekend i love to visit there it is it is on the uh, it is on the outskirts uh, it is on the outskirts uh, of city Math uh, mathura um whenever i visit visit there i became speechless it is spread uh, in 2 to 3 acres and it it has a variety of flowers as in my biology class we have learned about different kinds of flowers uh, we have learned about different kinds of plants and flowers i always i am always fascinated uh, with those flowers and love to observe them and make take notes of them uh, my uncle uh, sorry uh, it also ha as it is a restricted area it has fences all around and my uncle also has a has a uh, different people to take care of the garden and to uh, water the plants it is near a big lake. so lake uh, so lake uh, is a, it is it is near a big, big lake and it's 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 a very refreshing experience i usually uh, love to right uh, i there is there it i have a private place near the lake under the trees in those gardens and i usually love to write poems there and to uh, read novels help me escape my own uh, real life problems and it gives me a soothing uh, it gives me my peace of mind it actually helps me with uh, uh it um i can actually breathe a uh, a breathe fresh air from my busy day life that's exactly to me lot of fillers actually i think if you can relax a bit if you can slow down a bit i think you can maybe reduce the number of fillers the amount of space in this fillers are in this Okay. Otherwise, the answer is good if you can work on your fillers. Okay, sir. Okay. So, all okay. of you have spoken. Good. 